everyone and welcome back to Waverly Reads. It's been a while since you've had one of these types of videos. Here it is and we're gonna be go doing but what? <laughs> Five seconds? <laughs> How long does it take Waverly to mess up? <laughs> I had a rule where I was like only buying books to every two books I read. Kind of went out the window these past few months and I've obtained five extra books did yeah i shouldn't have but i did anyway you know no regrets or whatever i mean i do regret it my bank regrets it there are like 11 or so books there so i'm just gonna get into it honestly i probably don't know what half of them are about get into the hall let me show you the pile it's that's yeah, quite a large pile also these are in no order because normally i keep tabs on when i buy them because of my book to buy ratio just got books that i don't know when i got them they had to have been within the past two months three months when was the last time i did a haul i don't know between then and now that's when these books were brought by Amy Kaufman can never pronounce that and Jay Kristoff sequel to Illuminate which I read about a month ago maybe so this had to have been brought after them so obviously I can't explain what this book is about and Illuminate is such an in-depth thing that I probably can't explain what that's about either but if you want to know what Illuminate is about then you should watch my last wrap-up that I then you can find out what Illuminate is about because I just I can't explain it twice I barely explained it the first time this book I've given myself allowances for because it is green kind of green on the cover and the book two on is fast approaching it starts on Monday I needed books with green on the cover so I brought a bulk of them and I picked the smallest one for my TBR I got New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson I actually thought this was a graphic novel people had said about it but it's not it's just it's a dystopian book about a girl a girl I hope named phoenix next book is skylarks by karen gregory this is an lgbt novel found it in waterstones in the lgbt fiction section and i'm really into lgbt contemporary at the minute it's like the only side of contemporary i actually fully enjoy and i needed to get some more especially with the lesbian side of lgbt because i relate to that a lot more so i got this one about two best friends or two friends who meet and end up falling in love and the coming outness and you know just that typical LGBT novel. The next one is Girl Hearts Girl by Lucy Sutcliffe. I'll tell you what this one is about because I have already read it. I, I read it like two days after I got it because like I said I'm really into LGBT novels at the minute. This is actually based upon a true story about this girl who is a YouTuber and dealt with coming out and stuff like that. Sadly, spoiler alert, they're not together anymore. Broke my freaking heart. I've gone back to thinking about these two people as being characters now and not real life people. It just makes it better because they don't break up in this book. That's the way I'm going about it. It's also a long distance novel as well and I've been in a few long distance relationships myself and I know the struggles and I just really really could relate to this book. It's a very relatable book and the writing is huge and it's quite small so you can get through this really really quickly. This book is Every Day by David Leverson. This is a book that has a movie coming out about it soon which is kind of how I know about it to be fair um, but I have read some of David Leverson's writing and I do like it so that's another reason why I brought this. I don't know any names in this book, so I'm just gonna say boy and girl. About this boy who keeps every day changes to another person. <sighs> yeah, it's that one. <laughs> every day he wakes up in this new body of a different person and he has to like go out and find this girl that he's in love with and like make her fall in love with his new persona. And she has to deal with falling in love with these new people every single day because they love each other. But yeah, he's a different person every day. And I don't know, I found this concept really interesting and i really want to read it so i can watch the movie which written well it could be an amazing novel or it could very easily flop i'm hoping for the first option <laughs> the girl isn't it boy and a girl that's weird david leverson's an lgbt writer in the trailer some of the personas are female and she's a female i remember seeing that the next book is an ember in the ashes by sabah to here sabah to here Again, this is just a sci-fi dystopian fantasy story. I hear about it a lot on booktube and I saw it in the works for a 3 for 5 deal. So I saw this one, the sequel and another book as well for 3 for 5 pound. I was like, you know what, I'm going to get them because these are £9 each. £9 flipping each and I got them free for a fiver. So I picked these up because they are hyped about so much on booktube and I will eventually get around to reading them. Spines don't match though and that kind of bugs me. This book was a complete cover buy that came with the 3 for 5 deal and that's literally the only reason I got it. It sounds atrocious. Struck by Joss Sterling. Beautiful cover. And that's it. 
I'm probably gonna get rid of this very quickly. This book is Ascension by Victor Dixon. Reading this book's description reminded me of a book that I read on the Kindle a few years True Calling by Siobhan Davis. Reading the description reminded me of that because it's like the selection meets sci-fi. I like that. I like these dating show games. It doesn't make sense because that doesn't fit in with me at all. But I like the dating show aspect to the books where like they're forced to like meet each other. Bring sci-fi into that makes it amazing. This is about astronauts apparently, which is something new. It's a very much sounds like True Calling and I really, really enjoy True Calling. This was actually a difficult decision for me. It was between this and three other books that I also really wanted to read. In the end, I told some friends to vote on the covers only, and only the covers and they all picked Ascension. There's a table for where people are standing. I probably shouldn't look at that. <laughs> this is just a book with green on the cover and and this has been on my TBR for like longer than I've even had a TBR. I saw this in school and I really wanted to read it. I never got around to it. But the only thing I cared about in school was Twilight, Darren Shan, a bit of Harry Potter, and there was something else. Marked. And marked. I never got around to reading it because I just read those books and were you know one times. And Wings. Just a book that I wanted to read forever. Don't ask me what it's about. I really cannot tell you. It's about magic. It's about treasure hunting. It's about a mirror. It's just a fantasy novel. It has green on the cover, which is the main reason why I brought it. I'm sure it's the same for the next one. The next and last book I got in this summer haul. We're gonna call it a summer haul. Heat wave haul. Why not that? Hey. The heat made me do it. The next book is Splintered by A.G. Howard. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling, but it's also like a fantasy novel and middle grade, and it says that there's fairies and stuff from what I've read about it online. It's written in purple which is really really cool and I actually kind of really love Disney retellings like I recently read Heartless and I'm obsessed with it so Wonderland retellings may be the way to go for me I really delved down that path recently I did and I really liked it it's about a girl who's Alice's great great granddaughter or something like that I don't know this haul was stupid I'm sorry those are all the books that I brought in the past couple months and the heat made me do it apparently um the only reason they're in this order is because it's ath aesthetically pleasing and yeah i'm sorry this haul was just stupid lately i haven't really been into filming videos i've been more into vlogging because filming you have to like make sense and talk about shit whereas when you're vlogging it's just like yeah let's talk about what i'm doing this i have to actually make sense and i'm just not because i don't me and heat don't do well together